Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Charles Dahlgren was born on this day, August 13th, in 1811, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the son of the merchant Bernard Dahlgren, who served as the Swedish Council. Dahlgren moved to the South as a young man, became an official of the Bank of the United States, and married into the wealthy Ruth family. In 1856, Dahlgren built an imposing house that is known today as Dunleith. After he was forced to sell that property in 1859 to settle his wife's estate, Dahlgren built Langolan, one of the region's best examples of Italianate architecture. Upon Mississippi's vote to secede from the Union, Charles Dahlgren raised two volunteer regiments, the 3rd and 7th Mississippi Infantry. After his brigade was transferred to the Confederate Army, Dahlgren lost his command. Dahlgren was known to have a very short temper, and his outspoken opposition to the nationalization of his men cost him his command and sparked a long-time feud with Jefferson Davis and his family. While Charles had cast his lot with the South, older brother John Dahlgren, however, was an admiral in the Union Navy, a commander of the Washington Navy Yard, and the South Atlantic Blocking Squadron. He is credited with introducing the Dahlgren naval gun that became the Navy's standard armament. John's son, Colonel Ulrich Dahlgren, died while leading a cavalry raid with orders to assassinate Jefferson Davis and his cabinet in Richmond. Charles' other brother, William, spent the war in England spying on Confederate purchasing agents. Charles Dahlgren was left destitute by the Civil War, and he moved to New York, where he opened a brokerage business. He died in Brooklyn in 1888, but is buried in the Natchez City Cemetery. My name's Terry Travato. I'm the historian and mansion host at Dunleith, and that's your Natchez History Minute.